we don't go to William to do to work for money. If you wanted money, we go to Uru Kenyatta. That's the man who has money, both his and for the state. If money was a motiv motivating factor, all of us would be Uru Kenyatta. This is a man with serious money, he and his family. And he also controls the, the state money. That's where it would be. Money is not why we are with William Ruto. By the way, working for William Ruto is a very taxing exercise in terms of money. Moving around with this money, man around the country, you can go broke. The guy is so active, you know. You're going out with William Ruto, you need to fuel your car, you need to get a place for your driver, for your bodyguard, you need to give money in Harambe, and uh, it is uh, consuming. We like William Ruto because he has respect for elected leaders. He has time for elected leaders. He has respect for their thoughts. He takes value in what I think, and he allows me to say what I think. He is also a very truthful man. If you agree something, he honors. You know, like that we like. You know, somebody, if you agree, you know, and you know it is done. I cannot say that about other people. You know, if William Ruto tells you I'll come to Karatina on Saturday at 10, he'll be there. If he comes and say, I'll look for two million shillings for this, uh, uh, you know, Karatina market, come and pick it on Monday, it's available. You know, that we like. And also, you know, human beings, my friend, you know, they like being affirmed. This is a guy also who affirms us. And he has respect for us. And he shows we are important people. And he values our contribution. And uh, he gives us that recognition. And, and above all, for we from the mountain, we are, we'll be forever indebted to Dr. William Ruto for mentoring us. Uhuru Kenyatta, our president, refused to mentor anybody from the mountain. He doesn't want anybody to grow. In fact, anybody who tries to bring out your head, he hammers you to stay down. You know? But William Ruto has mentored people like Didi Nyoro. Didi Nyoro is uh, in his uh, early 30s. Today he is a national leader. William Ruto has given him an opportunity to grow. Kimani Ichungwa, Susan Keheka, Professor Kethure Kendiki, Rekadi Gachagwa. Who knew me outside uh, Nyeri four years ago? Today I'm known in the whole country because William Ruto has given me a platform, an opportunity to grow as a national leader. I mean, we must be very, very honest people also. Yeah? Our president doesn't want anybody to grow in the mountain. He wants to remain alone. And that is why he doesn't want anybody to come here because he wants to continue being the leader of the mountain. But William Ruto has, you know, you know, look at uh, the candidate in Kiamba, John Jukunaka Wanjiku. As a, a young boy, a son of a single mother, he brought him up and gave him an opportunity. He's a member of parliament. And he said, let us build this boy. You know, nobody believed that boy had a chance. But William Ruto said, if we don't mentor this young man here, who will ever mentor him? And that is why we believe his government, many people will grow. Many people will be mentored in leadership, in business, in professions, you know, because he has respect for ordinary people and he believes everybody should be given a chance. And he believes anybody given a chance, if you have some brains, if you are hard working, you can be somebody someday. I am a living example. Today, my name is being mentioned as a possible deputy president. I just was elected the other day. But William Ruto has given me a platform. He's given me an opportunity for the people of Kenya to know what metal I am made of and to listen to me and see I have some brains. If he did not give me that opportunity, who would know me outside the Karatina?